Y'all, how's everyone doing tonight? Hopefully everyone's well. I, uh, I I'll have to be honest though, I didn't really get much of shit done today. Holy heck. I got too sidetracked, and like, I was like, yeah, maybe I should take a nap, and then like, you know, my, uh, my uh, hour-long nap turned into like three. You know, and like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, holy heck. Uh, let me go through the list here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see. Vokage, welcome. Sweet Bean. Little Seribot. Drock, welcome. Holy heck. Bricklebork. Riku, y'all, welcome. Faulty Vi, and always nice to see you. Ryu. Lucos, thank you so much for the lurk. But yeah. Holy heck. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, the Poke Morning stream was actually, it was pretty awesome. Like, uh, it, it was every bit as kind of mildly terrible as I thought it would be, like, because basically I forgot everything, like all the controls, all of that stuff. I forgot it. So I kind of had to, I, I kind of had to relearn it on the fly, which, uh, not really a good thing. 
<laughs> so yeah, I think I got to I think I'm pretty good now though. I think over the next few days, I think I'm going to take some extra time and then just, you know, kind of keep it fresh. Kind of like, you know, when you get your ears pierced, you got to kind of keep the hole open, so to speak. So uh, I think I'm going to do like like a little farming and things like that. You know, nothing every, nothing really, you know, super story related or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of run around in the world and like, you know, catch Pokemon and like gather berries and crap like that. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure that'll uh, ingrain in me some sort of like a normal you know, how the controls work, so to speak. But yeah, it's y'all, it's so nice to see you. And I'm really stoked for tonight because it's been... It's been a whole week since we've played uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. And I'm, uh, I'm really here for it. I forgot where we were in the story. You know, because, well, you know... My brain is tiny. <laughs> but, oh yeah. Um, so... I, uh, I I popped into the fridge, Bocage, to get that uh, to get that beer that I was talking about, and it turns out I actually still had a full glass of beer in that growler that I'm picking away at. So I finished it, and like I have that in my glass right now. So I'm gonna start with that, and if I'm feeling adventurous, I may dig into that stout later on. But we'll see. I still have to go, uh, I still have to go grocery shopping. I need to get, like, food and snacks for Wednesday night's stream. Well, Wednesday's stream. Because I'm going to be, uh, it's my birth, it's my birthday. And I, uh, yeah. I want to do it right. But anyway, let me, uh, let me get Final Fantasy started here before I talk too much. There we go. It's starting to go. It's starting to go. It's starting to go. I guess I should probably, should probably turn my controller on too, huh? There we are. Perfect. I'm switch on over to main and shut off the music. There we go. Oh, I gotta make this window bigger now too. It's kind of the, it's kind of the peril with uh, doing some of this stuff, making a layout change. Because inevitably, I forget how to do everything. There we go. That looks good. Hi, hey, Meowpie. Welcome. Holy heck. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually I'm gonna get back into this habit here. I'm gonna get back into the habit of shouting folks out that I know are streamers. Here we go. There we go. Cause I think that's just important that like, you know You know, they it, it, it's it's really hard to explain like I feel a sense of community you know with other streamers as well as like the viewers that pop here in the chat and stuff because it's like a it's like a way I can relate so when I see somebody come into the chat who I know is a streamer I just want to help you know do what I can to support their community as well as they are you know kind enough to show up and support mine you know Hope that makes sense. No, I don't want to quit the stream. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I swear. It's not my first day. Oh, that's right. We're Sector 5 Reactor. Oh, yeah. This is the long part. Right. I remember now. I remember now. Ryoto Zed, welcome. So I've got to find, I think I've got to find two key cards. Let me talk to some folks here. Find those key cards. Yes, sir. Jeez. Oh, 
was a key card? Where would I be? I can't just like whistle for a key card and it's not like it's gonna come running, right? I am Avery Lopez. Welcome. Holy heck. Very nice. It's bad that I struggled with what's coming up in my first time through. Oh, no worries. How, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty okay. So, uh, y'all in the chat, um, the little safety pins, the little safety pin subscription badges. I know I haven't done the artist uh, attrib attribution yet. Uh, but uh, the little safety pins for the uh, subscriber loyalty stuff, that was all Avery Lopez here. They are the artist for those. Heck and good bean. Pretty quick service. And uh, I, can't, uh, I can't recommend them more, honestly. They're Any fantastic. luck with the key cards? Tifa, somebody already asked me about that. I see one right here. Yeah, Avery, that's it. That's Any it. Cards? That's the thing. Just that's the one. Two choices. And only one single use card. It's up to you, Cloud. I thought there were two cards, but I guess I guess not. Um, Avery, I, when you popped by during my stream anniversary stream, uh, that's uh, that's the day we launched the uh, the new uh, the new avatar. This is something that I had in the pipe as a big secret for like a couple months before the stream. Ooh, there's materia. An orb of lightning materia. Ooh, okay. We got these. Good stuff. Can't you also give them the artist badge as well? I can, actually. There's honestly, there's just been so much stuff that I've been doing with the stream that like, you know, it's like, it's like this giant long list of stuff that I need to do. And I've been slowly working my way through it. And like, uh, I will be doing that uh, this weekend, probably tomorrow, actually. Didn't include me in the project. No, I did include you in the project. The safety pins were part of that. Yeah, the uh, the subscriber badges uh, were like a long were a long time coming, and I should have done them far far earlier than I did. Let's see. Let's see. Let me do this one. What does an AI programming core do? Increases processing power dedicated to motor function computation. Makes it move real quick. A real quick giant robot, huh? That doesn't sound good. Anyway, we should weigh our options carefully. Removing an Airbuster's programming core hampers its tactical awareness and reduces the frequency with which it fires its finger beams. Uh, an attack that stuns targets. Okay. I get it. I'm gonna look at the one that Barrett has to see what this one is all about. Why? Console talks about big bomber shells. You acquainted? We call them BBs. One's enough to blow you to hell and back. Could divert them and give it a couple less shots to take us out. Make the call. Hmm. I think I'd rather not be stunned. I can move I can move pretty fast, so. I think I'd rather not be stunned when we're fighting it, so I think we'll do this. AI programming cores help it move faster, right? Divert it or not. Oop, pet bits. There we go. Programming core flat for disposal. Goodbye, programming core. That should slow them down some. So where did we send the discarded stuff? To a storeroom for defective equipment. 
I'm guessing. That's so. You think these defective shells and programming cores might be valuable enough to warrant a little detour? Maybe. I say we grab them. <laughs> if we get that far. Yeah, I think we should grab them. Uh, what even is the purpose of the OTP cards? Okay, so the 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 pro the cards basically enable me to get access to the system, and then once I have access to the system, I can choose to discard items. Each item each item I discard um, weakens the Airbuster, so when I get to the actual Airbuster fight, it's a uh, it's not a hundred percent. So I'm kind of like, you know, kind of weakening it ahead of time so the battle isn't as tough. Ah, Jada Wolf, welcome. I take it so the card doesn't uh, doesn't accidentally get stolen and multiple people are all murdered as a result, right? Yep. Hey, Aleka, welcome. And ear wiggles. There we go. I give you a little bit of a butt wiggle too. How's that? Ooh, this is neat. Okay, so that's where I am. Okay. Come on, Cloud, let's go. I know you have it in you. There we go. Sweet sword and bow time. Okay, listen up, y'all. Everything Shinra has told you is a goddamn lie. Marco is the lifeblood of our planet. Who the fuck is he Those talking to? Those greedy bastards are bleeding it dry. Y'all gotta rise up. Barrett. Who are you talking to? <laughs> the people. Put me on TV. I'm gonna drop some truth. A thousand gills says they cut the sound. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, what the hell? What, what, what the hell is he talking about? Okay, that must be the objective. Must be above us. I get it. Surprise, Rounders! Oh, so. Get away from her. Keep it together. All set. <laughs> Need my help to your best. There we go. Okay. You got this. Let me hit it. Give him your all. Never in doubt. There we go. They're both pretty badass when you want them to be. This game is beautiful. Holy heck. Alright, one second. I have to I have to sip sip. Okay, that's better. Let's do this. 
Find another key card, apparently. If I was a key card, where would I be? Oh, I see one right here. Find any cards? Only one. And this time we've got three choices. Take your pick. Three choices. Okay, let's see what they are. AI programming core. Hmm. What are you thinking, Cloud? Should we get rid of it? Another AI programming core. So this is uh, this is speed and finger lasers. Do an alert, but have a great stream, Andy. Uh, Amanda, thank you so much. Holy heck. Thank you so heckin' much. Let me give you a let me give you a shout out here too. Also, if you haven't if you haven't popped out of the stream, I did send you an email. Hmm. There we go. Oh, I did see it. Oh, I see. Okay, gotcha. No worries. I just wanted to, I, I was going to ping you on Discord, but uh, now I don't have to. I haven't had the chance to respond. Okay. No worries. No rush. Ah! Coughing my brains out. Yay, Plague. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. Oh. Amanda, I, I, hope you, uh, I hope you feel better soon. You hacking good being. Scrapping some BBs? Hurry up and decide what you want to get rid of. It's past time we taught Shinra a lesson. I got it about three weeks ago and thought I was all good, but then it came back for more. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear that. That is like the essence of butts right there. And not the good kind of butts. Like y'all, y'all, I can't, I can't stress enough how much I hate being sick. Hate it. Because it's like, I don't know, like, it, like during the week, I just can't stand the thought of being slowed down at all. So like, I just, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. So when I, when I hear like friends getting sick, I just, I, Amanda, I, I, I hope you recover from that like stupid quick. Anyway, enjoy your Final Fantasy. I'm hoping to get back to work after the potty training weekend from Doom. Oh my gosh. Amanda, the best of luck, okay? Alright, so those are the BBs. Those are the big bomb do diddly doos. What do we got here? I might I might do I might do bombs this time. Another type of enhancement. You'll call if you want to nix it. What is an M unit? I don't know what an M unit is. So I'm going to let it have its M unit, and I'm going to scrap a BB. From what you said, even one big bomber shell is too many. But I'll let you be the judge of that. I'm sorry. For I'm sorry to hear about that, Janie. Heidegger's got no idea who he's messing with.
I think he does. Like, Heidegger is no joke, even though he is kind of an oaf. And I, uh, I, I really what, dislike him. I never look forward to an execution more in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. We're about to make fools out of Shinra while the whole damn city's watching. <laughs> Times like these, you gotta save her. Oh no, if you're about to ask me to dance, then don't. Come on, don't be shy. How about you, Cloud? I don't dance. We'll see about that. In the original, he is very much a joke. I think I, I, I vaguely remember that. What was that about giving me lasers? I'm already too powerful. Oh my God, finger lasers. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> ooh, ooh, finger lasers. What do we got from mobs up here? I see a chest. Uh, I don't see any, I don't see any turrets or anything. Okay, so. Let's see what happens. A pair of sonic strikers. What are those? What are those? It's me, Austin! <laughs> I would have j typed that joke sooner, but my delay was but, and then Twitch decided to crash my browser because I clicked on the text box right. That's a mood. Yeah, Cloud is selling his dancing skills short here. He is, yes. But I think... What we're gonna do is I think the Sonic Strikers are something for Tifa. Ah, nailed it. Oh wow, there's lots of stuff here to, to screw around with. Okay, let's see. Magic attack power. Regular attack power. Speed. Hmm. What are these other ones? That's interesting. I don't think I need magic MP. Speed I kind of like. Materia damage, 10% boost. Okay. I'll take that. Okay. I think Tifa is good for now. Sure that they are equipped. There we go. 
perfect. So she has ice, chakra, and healing. We'll give her some cleansing and... I think that's good. That's second good right there. Perfect. So do you have to play these Star Fox missions to get upgrades? <laughs> so upgrades, like, there's, like, a certain amount of SP involved. So you can upgrade your weapons that are equipped. And it's, uh, it's really interesting. It's a really interesting dynamic that gives you a few little boosts and stuff. I'll admit that I keep forgetting to uh, to actually do it. Uh, B5, this is engineering. You need to pick up the pace. We're running dangerously low in components because of those terrorists. Nice Copy. bud, buddy. They're here! <laughs> Thank you, Jake. Stop them! Do 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 Bunch of pushovers. Come on, y'all. Let's see what kind of mischief they were getting up to. I made short work of them. Jeez. Okay, so there's one, two. I'm expecting there's going to be like four terminals in here. Yep. And one key card, no doubt. Four consoles. And never enough key cards. So what do we got for consoles here? An AI programming core. Should we discard this or something else? Yeah, I think I want it to be slower. What are you doing? Oh, John Berger, welcome. How are you doing tonight? Yep, the green screen core looks like the Star Fox mission selector is what I was going for. You're not wrong. It might have been a while since I, I played the Star Fox, thing. but I think we've done enough. I know to what you're talking the robot. about. All that we can, at least. It's all good. The stage is set. All that's left is to hijack Heidegger's show. Here's another card. That's an M unit, right? Yep. This is our chance to really stick it to Shinra. We should think it through before we make a decision. Let's see what the other terminals are. Big bomber shells. We should divert them if you think it'll improve our odds. So that's a big bomber. All right. What is this last one over here? Diverting programming core to disposal room. Okay, got it. So we'll do another big bomber shell. I'm sure that'll help out. Doing good, uh, just watching SRX from Stafford, okay. Shell flag for disposal. Serves all right. Hmm. I am low key worried about this fight. A 
Ah, uh, Voidstar, welcome. How are you We're doing coming tonight? Up on the eight. Hope you're well. Tifa, detonator still in range. We should be good. The moment Big Boy goes down, you hit that switch. Right. Let's see, what do we what do we got around the corner here? I got one of those guys. All right. Go wild! You said it! Get <laughs> 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 I don't have that yet. You're mine. Sorry to hear that. Yikes. Oh, well, I'm doing okay tonight. Uh, like, I basically, like, I did the Pokemon morning stream, and then, like, right after, I just, uh, I decided that, you know, I kind of had, like, a little headache, so I decided to take a little nap, and I, my one-hour nap turned into, like, three hours. So basically slept away my whole day. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. I'm not gonna be too salty about it because I needed I pay I apparently needed the rest. The nozzle. The nozzle. Oh holy heck, Void Star, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much. I think we're almost to the boss arena here. Ah, Paula, welcome. Paula's a good bean. Gotta get back into the habit of shouting out all the streamers I can. So there is Paula Brady. Paula Brady is a good bean and a longtime friend and supporter of the stream. Why not that way? Turn off the nozzle the nozzle at the end of the hoose. Okay. We didn't I'm just sad because I have like now we just gotta get it done. Two thousand quid worth of games, and I stopped having fun with each and every one of them. Now I don't know what to do for the entire day. Oh, well, that sucks. But the thing is, like you know, it's not gonna be like that all day. One of the neat things about Twitch, one of the really neat things about Twitch, is that you know people have a habit of of like playing or mentioning something that you've never heard of. So who knows? I mean, you might be like, you know, watching one of your favorite streamers and they might mention something. They're just like, oh my God, this thing, this thing that nobody knew about. And like, you know, you might get inspired and, you know, start playing something cool. You never know. Plus it's also, it's totally valid to just kind of take a, a break from Status gaming report. altogether. We're making our final adjustments. Work faster, or you'll hear it from the brass! <clears throat> Look! They're still prepping it! They're here! Hold them back! Buy us every second you can! What is the status of my airbusters report? <laughs> You're mine! Clear! Ah. Uh, spells. I'm gonna use Thundara on the elite troop. Buzz no There we go. <laughs> There's one. Shit. We too late. 
That's far enough, you bastard. I'm taking you down! Y'all never had a chance. Hey, guys. Looks like a performance assessment, don't you think? Reduced response time. Should work in our favor. For real though, we need to talk victory poses. Something coordinated for the live on camera finish. Could blow up big, start a new trend. Vito. Hey, Gabe, welcome. It's so nice to see you. Huh? No way up. Let me catch up with chat real quick. Let me catch up with chat. Uh, if all else fails, taking a break from get. Okay, Adi, sure, say it before I can type it. I see how it is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, fingies. I'll, I'll try to. I'll try to be less quick. How's that? Uh, Ryan Newman wins. <laughs> uh, true. Yeah. Thing is, my pessimism decided that if I wanted to be a YouTuber streamer, I should think of every negative first. That's a thing. That's a thing. I'm going to take this opportunity to kind of talk about this for a little bit because we all have we all have the, these these types of feelings, right? We all have these types of feelings, that, you know, and and a lot of a lot of my friends call it bad brain. And the thing is what you do about bad brain is kick it in the kick it in the dick, all right? Just you you got to ignore it. Because the thing is like, you know, that exact that exact type of thinking kept me from streaming for five years because I was so self-conscious about my voice I didn't think anybody was going to find me entertaining and all of this stuff I found every excuse in the book to not do it and the thing is though if you want to be a YouTuber streamer whatever and you're thinking about doing it you can think about doing it for years and years and years and years and years and never do anything about it and trust me, you will feel far worse about it if you don't start. If you're thinking about doing it, you should just do it. Just do it. But yeah, burnout is very real even for hobbies, right? Uh, I hate, hate having a bad brain day, right? Ah, oh, Rasir, welcome. Thank you. Rasir, thank you so much for the raid earlier, too. That meant a lot. Thank you. Ah, uh, love your voice. Ah, uh, thank you, Jade. Thank you so much. That, that actually means a whole lot. Because, you know, there, there are still times that I am pretty self-conscious about it. But, you know, I, you know pe lots of people have told me that's like nobody, nobody likes the sound of their own voice. So that's why I try to make a point of watching at least a portion of my VODs back. So it kind of gets me used to hearing my voice you know and i can say i can say right now that i'm actually rather okay with it i'm pretty okay with it the thing is i'm scared of failure that's fair too and the thing is like with with failure failure like each failure it's just it's just it's a learning experience it's like okay now you know what not to do and then you just pick yourself back up and you do something different I've trained editing for five years. Multiple job opportunities never took them. Okay. I'm pretty good at a lot of games. Never did it. That's the thing. It's like, again, if you're thinking about streaming, you should definitely do it. I can honestly say that, like, once I started, it, this ended up being just, like, one of the most rewarding, the re most rewarding experiences that I can think of. And I regret every day that I waited as long as I did. But the thing is, everything happens for a reason. And the thing is, though, I started when I did. Because, like, you know, that I, I don't know. I just I just met all you cool folks. And I'm just like, I'm here for it. And I'm just, I'm never going to stop doing this. I enjoy it way too much. And it really just breathed a whole bunch of life into, into gaming for me. It really did. So now, like, I get a chance to enjoy everything all over again. Because basically people watching makes it so much different and it's so good let's see yeah sorry i'm kind of i'm sorry i'm kind of pausing here because like you know when somebody mentions bad brain and streaming and wanting to do something but kind of something's holding them back i've got to stop
I've got to stop and talk about it. Let's see. That's what's keeping me from doing the thing, yeah. But you should just do it. Just do it. Kick that bad brain in the butt cheeks. It's cliche, but failure is natural. It's how we learn, and it's going to happen. That's true. Failure means you get to try again. That's true. They're all learning experiences. I'm calling that one a tie. My delay is still bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, I've gotten more okay with my voice since I started recording vocals. It's still not the voice I want, but I can work with it now. That's awesome, Jamie. That that right there is progress. Ah! Oh my god, wait. This is the story I love to tell. Y'all know Lixian, right? I don't, actually. I have no problem sounding like a gravel truck with a loose muffler. <laughs> Hobo, welcome. It's so nice to see you. Gabe, you're amazing. Like, seven, six, five, or whatever years ago, I could have been in Lixian's, Lixian's position right now editing for Mark, okay? Kind of unbelievable, but it happened. Not... Holy heck. And that's the thing, though. It's never too late. It's never too late to start. Just start. It's like, you know, that's the first tr that's the first step to streaming or anything, really. It's like whenever somebody whenever somebody asks me or a friend of mine that streams, it's like, like, what's that? Like, how do I start streaming? And the answer is always going to be just start. Whatever, whatever standing in the way, it does not matter. Start. Just do it. You don't have to have a cool overlay. You don't have to have like, you know, anything. You don't have to have like professional grade equipment. You know, if you have a PC that plays a game and you can install OBS, that's all you need. That is literally all you need. Everything else comes later. Lixian is Markiplier's editor. Oh, I see. Okay. See, I'm not familiar with Markiplier because I don't really, I don't really watch Markiplier a whole lot. Yeah, heck, just do it. I legit want to get a career started this year. And Gabe, you'll do it. You'll do it. Like I want to drive trucks. Mm-hmm. All right. No way we're getting back up that pipe. Keep looking. What was that? Take the lead. I got this. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll blizzard the lead. Guess it's my turn. Sit back, don't. Andara, this dude. Gonna make your eyeballs get ready. Get ready. That worked out really well. Awesome. Packing awesome. I prefer watching smaller streamers over Markiplier any day. Oh, yeah. Honestly, same. Because the thing is, though, you know, chat goes by so fast for, like, those super huge streamers. It's like, how can you really hope to interact with the streamer if you're a viewer, right? And that's like, that's something that I really just want to make, like, just a priority. Like, over everything else, I just want to be able to, you know, chat with people in, in chat and just have a good time that way. Because that's, that's what's most important to me. And I don't think it really matters what game that I play. As long as, like, you know, the people are in chat and are having a good time, that's what I care about. You know, y'all are friends and I just want to, uh, I just want to hang out and chat with y'all. Alright, alright, what are we doing? 
Who is up here? Okay, we got those, some of those weird plants. Weird eyeball plants. I also find Markiplier's personality to be really over the top. I prefer Ernest. I mean, I guess that's fair. The thing is, though, you like with a lot of streamers, uh, they like to put on a show, and that's the thing. That's what that, that that's what a lot right of people here. want. Shut it's like the whole show thing, right? But like every streamer is different, and like there are streamers out there that are just prefer to just be themselves. That's a win. You know, and that's I don't know. Like it, I could I could honestly put on a show for for y'all. I mean, I could just be like wild and crazy, and then just be screaming all the time and like you know just using like you know f this f that like you know curse word every other every other every other word and you know that would be all well and good but like you know what kind of what kind of experience would that be like i don't know like i would just rather be me that way like you know whoever shows up and has a good time and says that like you know adi you're really fun like is legit telling me that I'm fun. Like, the true me is fun. So, I mean, I, th I just find, I just think that's just way more attractive to Big me. Big boy's going to an institution, all right. We're going to put him out of his misery while the whole damn city watches. Hmm. We give it our all and we'll win. Uh, yeah, nothing wrong with that. I just prefer the casual thing. Yeah, I mean, I get that. And to be honest, so do I. Just here for the All air wiggles. Us, no exceptions. Right. Well, y'all get we tons of that. Don't want to disappoint Marlene. That goes for you too, Cloud. Right? You better give her a big old smile this time. If the price is right. Yeah, I was just I was just saying all that because personally I get more I get more out of watching a streamer who's just What? What? Open it already. It's locked down. Is there any way we can get it open? Yeah, from that room over there. Hmm, there we go. Why does everything have to be so damn complicated? You know the faulty equipment storerooms that way too. Do you think we'll find the components we diverted there? It's like a treasure vault. Woo! I like the sound of that. <laughs> but like, like what I was saying is like I tend to just get you know I get more out of a streamer and streams that like you know folks are just kind of casually having a good time. So I'm like I'm general I'm right there with you, Jeannie. Right there with you. Because like just the comfy casual so vibes are just like exactly what I need. It's simple. We move the levers at the same time. Got these ones. I'll take left. Which just leaves right, soldier boy. Locks can be disabled by simultaneously operating levers located on security panels. Barrett and Cloud's levers are operated by using left and right, respectively. At Tifa's signal, Press left and right in the direction shown on the display. All right. Emergency lockdown is currently in effect. So we need to synchronize our movements? In that case, follow my lead. Nah, Tifa's. Fine, have it your way. Okay, pay attention, you two. Three, two, one. Ah! Um, breathe when I breathe. <laughs> Focus, three, two, one. Perfect. There we go. Second time's the charm. Gotcha. Now that is what I call teamwork. Go team. Go team. Way to go, Cloud. What job got tucked away in that vault, huh? Okay, 
there's a save point. Honestly, Adi, your personality and acceptance of the people in the rainbow spectrum is what makes you unique. Some fake show would just not work, yeah. And Hobo, I appreciate that. That means a lot for you to say. Hearing all that, just holy heck. Some mega potions. We'll do an ether. Phoenix down, always get one of those. Mesmeric. Armor. That's interesting. What do we got for materia? That's the mission. Okay, that's the mission. So I don't want to go that way just yet. I want to go this other way first. If I can find it again, why am I getting so confused about this? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. This would be the treasure vault? That's right. What's the catch? You need to bypass a high-level security lock. Different from the other one? Same deal. But we gotta do it several times. <laughs> Tight wads. But hearing that just makes me want to rob them more. <laughs> yeah. Let's stick it to him. All right. Delta level security lockdown is currently in effect. Okay, guys. You know what we have to do. Copy me? No, Tifa leads. Oh, fine. After you, girl. Gotta get past level one first, right? Three, two, one. <laughs> Watch carefully. We got this. Three, two, one. Oh, I have to do. Okay, Try to I get match it. my timing, okay? The left one needs to be down. Shake it off. Three, two, one. Don't rush it. What? Okay. Focus. Three, two, one. What? No need to grip it so hard. Heretic Soul, thank you so much for the follow. Heckin' good bean. Welcome. We got this. Three, two, one. 
Why is it um, always that right one? Breathe when I breathe. Focus. Three, two, one. Alpha level security. Perfect. Disengaged. That was great, you guys. Let's keep it up. All right. Three, two, one. Beta level security. Disengaged. Wow. Think we've got this? Hell yeah! Bring it on! Ain't nothing I love more than sticking it to shit. Union Jackal, welcome! Halfway there. Steady, guys. Three, two, one. Shit. Mother! How about a chance to help us time it right? Avalanche! Ugh, this is exhausting. We'll get it this time. Three, two, one. Gamma level security. Perfect. Disengaged. No way! <laughs> you guys are naturals. Okay, one final round. Time. Don't lose focus. Three, two, one. Check. Don't rush it. Shake we, it off. We got this. We Three, got this. Three, two, one. Yay! Delta level security. Disengaged. GG. Room now accessible. <sighs> Finally. I was beginning to think it'd never end. Hey, yo, Cloud. What's the deal? You really a bona fide soldier? We didn't train for this stuff. <laughs> All that marching with no rhythm? How did you soldier on? Oop, pet pets. Okay, there we go. that's enough of that. Oop. Let's see what's inside. That's how I got in. Let's go this way. A materia? I am a material girl, and I am a material world. Magic up. Well, it's no PP up, but you know. Let's let's go on here. But first I wanna I wanna see if I can wreck a cone. Yep. I love the physics in this game. Holy heck. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let's get serious. The view. Gosh, that's amazing. Oh, the eyes of one who has been a model 
Which would make you a soldier. X soldier. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Though not, alas, for very long. Accelerated cellular degradation being the most common cause of death by far. This is classified, of course, but every soldier knows the truth. That's right. Thank you for getting someone! Would that I never do. You strike me as the type to go on without air. Ain't enough hours in the day to hold you to account for all your crimes. And what a wasteful indulgence it would be, even if there were. Oh, okay then. Let's talk about wasteful indulgences. What is Marco? The life stream. The lifeblood of the planet. Our planet. But Shinra keeps on slurping it up like a thirsty dog. What do you think's gonna happen if you don't stop, huh? Mm hmm We do indeed keep on slurping it up, as you say. But... For whose benefit, I wonder. The true nature of Marco is known to one and all, yet the people willfully turn a blind eye to the cost. As you must surely be aware. Don't you dare try to put this on us! If anyone's going along with your plans, it's cause you brainwashed them! Such methods are beneath me. As are you, my faithful stewardess. Henceforth, allies of wicked Wutai, our sworn enemy. Thank you for stoking our people's patriotic fervor. Red Wutai. Eagle, thank you so heck much for the 40 biddies. Thank you. You still don't understand your role in this. What did I do? Don't you see? You fools were never in control. Never anything but pawns in our plans to sell great and glorious war to the people. And your instruments of insurrection will detonate. Uh oh. When we so choose. Uh oh. Damn. Checkmate. Now let us raise the curtain on our main event. Where's the airbuster? The trial of the eco extremist group Avalanche. Terrorists conspired with Mutai against Nidia. Your guilt is undeniable. Your punishment, death. You and me both, Tifa. I'm sick of all of this. It's just like it, but I failed you. Cloud, get your head in the game. My control is going crazy. We're counting on you, man. Clark, are you all right? I'm fine. You guys good to go? Good job, everybody. Deal with that. Oh, let's go. Let's Come on! You are out of your 
Let's take care of them first. Lucas Yoshino. <laughs> Sorry. Damn. All those trolls. Time to do your thing, big man. Watch and learn. Watch yourself. Just make sure you got my back, all right? Okay, what, what am I even shooting at? So now. Uh, fuck on this. Uh, uh, fuck on this. Now. Uh, Get in there. Yep. Bring it loud and clear. Uh, Kiss my ass. Give them hell. Let's do this. Come on. Uh, yeah. Bring it. Oh, this music is amazing. Oh my god. Breathe, let's go. See you soon. Going in. Bring it. Oop, I don't have enough of that. But I do have this. Let's give him some braver. Quite the laser. Ooh, he's got a limit break. Sweet. Say your friend is begged for forgiveness. Won't be nothing left for you when I'm through. Hang back. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Come on, almost there, almost there. Yeah, there we go! Sweet! We don't have long to get clear. Take Tifa and get out of here! Uh, uh, 
I was wrong about you. This ain't the end of the line for you or me. Cloud! Come on! <laughs> Got this cloud. Oh no, that's not good. Holy hell! Let me catch up with chat real quick. Hi, Lucian. Welcome, Lucian. Good bean. Let me get some shoutouts down here. We got we got Lucas, okay, and then Lucian. Damn it! Hey, buddy. There we go. You okay? You okay? Yeah. Made it through with just a couple of scraped knees back then. Back then? What do you say? We doing this? Have we? Never mind about that. Right now, you need to focus Gonna go on yourself. Gonna go make Garbo at the moment. Something. Already gave. Anything. Love you, love you, buddy. Take care. Have a good night. All right. Why not? Good. Easy does it. Slow. And steady. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, who are you? Who are you? I am your everything. <gasps> Hello, Emir. Wow. Oh, Cloud. There's still so much to be done. <sighs> oh, it's this place. Maybe you're not okay. Oh my god, Aerith. <sighs> ah, he lives. Finally awake, are we? Ah, Darius, you welcome. Are... Holy heck. Aerith. It's Aerith. And you are? Cloud. Nice to meet you again. Again, huh? What? You don't remember? What about the flowers? Oh, the flower girl. And this is... An old church in the Sector 5 slums. God, this place you is beautiful. You came crashing through the roof without so much as a lookout below. <laughs> it's... Fell right into my flower bed. Honestly, Lucky it, for you. it's legit. Like, really? This is legit S Advent sorry, Children. Sorry, I didn't mean to... Don't worry about it. This is a scene a from Advent Children. This place, it has a kind of power. Before I forget, you dropped this when you landed. Thanks. I've got one too. You and everybody and their mother. Not like mine, no. It's special. Mine's not good for anything at all. That you just don't know how to use it. Could be. Though, I really don't mind. Just having it is enough. It was a gift from my mother. Pretty crazy, huh? Us meeting again like this. You should stay a while. Wow. Wow. So y'all, like, back when Advent Children was released, I really enjoyed that movie a lot. A lot. And, like, I... Uh, I'm legit inside of it right now. I don't know what to say. a lot of lilies. 
and it just made it gosh i mean this this whole this this like all of this all of this just really hits me it, it really hits me right lucy in this game is really pretty it's incredible I'll say it again, like when, when Final Fantasy VII Remake was announced, I was completely against it. I was like, don't screw with the perfect thing. Do not screw with my precious perfect thing. But you know, that they, they screwed with it anyway, and... Gosh, did they knock it out of the park. They just, they killed it. They killed it in a good way. In that case, huh? I'll see myself in. Thanks. Ah, oh, fuck this guy. And who are you? He's my bodyguard. And a soldier. Pretty cool, huh? Huh? <laughs> Pretty cool, a huh? Soldier. <laughs> Ex soldier. Well, what do you know? You've got the eyes at least. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? Bodyguard work's not too different from merc stuff, right? Uh, I guessed. From the sword. Just do this for me, okay? You got it, Aerith. Fine, but it'll cost you. A lot. A lot, huh? One date ought to do it. Huh? <laughs> huh. <laughs> awesome. Weird enough to be one. What class? <laughs> First. If you're gonna bullshit me, at least try to make it believable. Hey, watch the flowers! You heard the lady. I'll make this quick. You better. Bye. Who's <laughs> too bright? Really? Since when? This is the first I've heard of it. Cause it was a classified bear, princess. I don't yeah. think that counts. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. Let's finish this. Yeah. Going in. Hey, little help in your guys. Let's bring it. I'm damn good at it. Oh, be careful. Lightning. That's that. Soldier boy. 
That was the key. You've got it all wrong, man. I just wanted to. Cloud, no! no! Huh? Are they, sir? Are you hurt? Hit the boy. I'm fine. Go get the girl. Oh, that's a. I gotta add a boot Come command. On. I'm sorry, Darius. I gotta do the, the little boot-a-roo. Nothing! Up there! Hey, no shooting! <laughs> the ghost he's having. Hey, you okay? Probably. Or maybe. If there's so much as a scratch on her, you're done. Sir! We bring her in, in one piece. <laughs> what now? <laughs> Run! <laughs> Move it, I'll shoot! Oh no, you won't. But sir! Come on, Cloud, figure it out. Could drop that. Okay, I get it. I get it. 
Okay, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Am I just gonna hang here? Come on. There we go, alright. Let's move. That was a little awkward. Cloud, give me a hand. Turbo climb. Let's go. They're in the attic. Should we pursue? Leave <sighs> be. But sir, partners got it. We are out. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I forgot. Beginner's luck. <sighs> More of those things. It's like they're guiding us. Stay close. <gasps> so cool. <laughs> Let's explore a little bit here. What do we got? Okay, exploring pays off. Stay ahead of them. So, how is everyone doing tonight? Like, uh, like, uh, Lucas, uh, Darius, how y'all are doing tonight? Oh, this camera angle is super weird. In bed. <laughs> nice. Are they gone? Yeah, I think so. What are they? I think, actually. I don't know. Let's just go. Okay. Up for crossing the rooftops? See that pillar over there? There's a station right by it. Shall we mosey on over? Let's. All right. So I watched Harvest play this, and I only watched, like, like a few parts like for the most part so, i would have it what's next for you a little bit of bodyguard work <laughs> right after that it's back to the sector 7 slums you know how to get there yep of course you do so for the most part i had uh i had the stream the actual video scrolled off screen and i would just uh i would interact with chat for the most part and just listen to what Harbus was talking about and like kind of responding to that. So I didn't get too many spoilers. Just every now and then I would look. That suit from earlier. He was one of Shinra's Turks. What's a Turk want with you? Dunno. Hey, don't Turks keep an eye out for potential soldiers and stuff? They do more than just scout for candidates. Turks get called in to handle all kinds of situations, with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Professional bad guys. Gotta love them. Back to my question. So what's he to you? Looked like you knew each other. Maybe he thought I could be the greatest soldier yet. Maybe. Forget it. Hmm? Doing good, just chilling. Awesome. Lucas, thank you. Uh, I just wanted uh, to thank you also for uh, for popping in. Uh, yesterday, um, and uh, helping out with uh, some fractal stuff too. I hope you had a good time and got what you needed out of uh, out of doing that one that we did. 
Careful. Not a lot of room. Gotcha. Thanks. Did you get the, the Chivo thing that you were after? Oh god, the music spot on. Holy heck. Just having to do the painful part now, grinding for money for the final part of Rod Gord. Ah, gotcha. By rooftop before. I'm getting all surprised the guys if you nice. had. It's honestly kind of exciting. Well, first time and all. Well, honestly, honestly, Lucas, I mean, if there's something uh, that I can help out with at some point, uh, definitely let me know. Uh, fractals, uh, I think uh, in general, we're going to try and do those every other Friday. So, heck, like, open invitation. Like, you know, provided we don't have a full party, like, you know, we can just, you know, heck and pop right in. I had 500 plus gold before that, and I'm at 18 gold. Ouch. The big thing I have to work on now is the world versus world item reward, gift of battle. Oh, yeah, I did that once. I did that once so I could do uh, Frostfang. And I did Frostfang, but like, oh gosh, the, the requirement of Gift of Battle just makes me not want to do that ever again. Wait! Give me a moment! Oh, come on, Aerith. <sighs> Don't just run off on your own. Those are the words of a soldier candidate? So petty. <laughs> so petty. <laughs> I hate PvP. Uh, I don't hate it. It's just not it's just not for me, you know. And that's honestly why I didn't that why I didn't have fun doing fractals before. It's because, like, I'd pop in and it would just be four other random people that wouldn't explain, like, the, the mechanics when I was doing it for the first time, and I just didn't have fun. Just didn't have fun. But, like, doing it with the, with y'all last night, I had a blast. So, does no one live in these buildings? Nope. No one to get mad if we make noise. Look at the scenery. Look at the church. Oh, man. All this game is just nuts. And yeah, I can see it. Like, you know, some of it... Like, the background background is definitely 2D. But, like, you know, this, all of this is just so good. Yeah, I wish you could just get the points just sitting in the world for Gift of Battle reward track, even if it's just like one to five per proc of the payout. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, I just think that the whole forcing you to do W versus, uh, well, like world versus world, uh, I just, I don't like Looks that. Looks kind of rusty. I'll go first. Just make it a choice. Make it a choice. Like, you know, it's people. pretty old. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> if you want people to do Easy now. World versus World, you incentivize it. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. Shit. <laughs> like incentivize it. Give people multiple different Ooh. avenues in order to get that was it. Unexpected. And if Thank you want you, people Cloud. to do world versus world, make it more of an incentive to do world ah, versus world. And if people don't want to do that, sure. Give people a secondary option, a secondary route to get there. Maybe make it a little harder or make it uh, less lucrative to do it. But just provide it, you know. 
At least that's how, that, know, at least that's how it I works out in my head. I thought about moving once, but in the end, I couldn't. Too dangerous? Too much. Yeah, it's the only thing about Guild Wars 2 I don't like really so far. Yeah. There's also War Beast mount you can only get from World vs. World, which I I, I understand that. And like that's why I don't have it. Is because like I just How could I? All that passion, all those dreams flowing and blending together into something greater. It's like why I don't have that thing is because like I just I don't know. It's not enough of a compelling reason for me to do World versus World. The gift of battle is literally the only reason why I even went. This time I'll go first. After all, I can't count on you to wait. Sure about this? Thanks, Sarah. for yourself. Hmm. Maybe I'll go on ahead and leave you all by your lonesome. Just... Uh, maybe you shouldn't talk. Then you talk. <laughs> Tell me a story. Tell me a story. Okay. Not for free. Cheapskate. You're... Uh, Come on, Mary. Huh. Come on. Gotcha. You're <laughs> killing me here. <laughs> I really like her character. I really like her. I wasn't too I wasn't too like keen on Aerith in the original. Here goes nothing. But I think that She's really endearing in this. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, she is really endearing. Anyway, we're getting closer to the station. Even so, we'll probably run into a few monsters on the way. All right, I can deal with huh. monsters. There's a face that screams, So what? Eh, I fought scarier things in my sleep. Oh, the music. Oh, I'm gonna, y'all, that's just, I'm gonna sound like a broken record playing this game. It's like, oh my god, that's beautiful. Oh my god, that character is amazing. Oh my god, this music is great. Over and over and over again. It's like buttons. I'm like a, a three-button de stream deck. Boop, boop, boop. Oh my god, this music is amazing. Boop, boop. not pretty. rooftops but this gate is open there must be some explorable areas back here let's see where they where go are you going cloud oh come on let me explore stuff damn it squeenix
Okay, here we go. I think I'm actually going to hit my item stuff here. actually use items? That's weird. I think before I go any further I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a heck and save. There we go. Okay. That might be a good idea. Just in case. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. That's Don't overdo it. it. Aerith possesses both powerful offensive and support spells that and is effective in multiple roles. Hold down X to deliver a continuous stream of magic attacks. These combo attacks can target multiple enemies over a wide area. Okay, I get it. I'll take care of them. We'll make it quick. Oh wow, yeah, she's nuts. You don't know the slums that well, do you? Compared to you? No. Training grounds, barracks, battlefields. That's the world I know. <laughs> you sound proud of that. Uh. Just please calm down. Hey, what the hell's going on? Check it out, come Mom. on. There's no need to shout. Popular place. Yeah. Well, it's got a good view of the reactor. <laughs> it's on fire! What a show. They know that. Don't worry. Oh, didn't expect to see you here. Huh? Um, yeah. Oh. On your way home from the church? That's right. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Did any debris hit the church? Not debris, no. That's something at least, but you may not be so lucky next time. Hey, you know a way to get topside other than the train? Sorry, can't say I do. <sighs> Figured as much. What a goddamn pain in the ass. Hmm. Of course. Just my I need to get Is the train out of order or something? Which one we should figure out. Cheese theme, yeah, I need that. Give me that. Thank you. 
I've got nine of those. Okay. Ethers I could definitely use, provided I can actually use them. BBC Twitch UK. I somehow think that that's not a legit account. BBC, thank you so much for the follow. However, I'm skeptical, so you might have to win me over a little bit. So, oh, whoever, whoever I have in the chat with mods, could you, uh, maybe check them out a little bit? Huh? Wait. I don't know what y'all can really Get do. Yourself but, clear. You know, I'm skeptical. That's, that's, Road that's start. for sure. Go! Follow him up! <laughs> ah, yes, this guy. Great, we're gonna have to fight Morpheus. Another Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me or you? Don't yes. know. Don't care. Then let's stick to the back streets. Ah. There will be monsters. Better than Shinra. Rude. A man of few words, you're not wrong. There's a Shinra dump site up ahead. Not the kind of place anyone would ever choose to hang around in. But a great place to lay up. You've got the run of it. Cut! 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 Ah, yeah. No telling where they'll come from. Monsters instinctively target weaker prey. Hmm. You'd better watch out then, Cloud. Ooh, okay. Interesting. I'll protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. So it's... Okay, that's that. Over here. All right, I don't necessarily want to go that way yet because there's another there's another branch over here. I just want to explore stuff before I have to. That way is a dead end. That's they fine. were doing some construction, but quit halfway. There could be some stuff down here that I could possibly use. See, there's boxes. Shells. Jeez. 
Jeez. Anomaly. Anomaly, good beam. How's Anomaly today? Thank you so much for coming by my Pokemon stream this morning. Hopefully it was entertaining enough. Where am I supposed to go here? I'm supposed to go that way. Oh, that's right. She stopped at the gate. All right, I get it. I get it. It was entertaining. Good. Good. That didn't work. Maybe it's broken? Pretty sure this path we're on loops around, too, so... Wait. Hmm. I wonder if we can move them. Is there a purple circle there? That's interesting. Okay. Get back from a VRC social thing, uh, the Pommelings held. Had a lot of fun. Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's that reminds me, I still I have to start playing some more VRC, so I, I need to get uh, I need to get trusted. I need to get that title so I can upload my avatar. Because that's the thing, this avatar is not just it is not just a VC face thing. It's a fully it's a fully rigged VRC avatar. Ah, uh, Fingies, thank you so much for that. So Fingies, what did you find out about uh, our friend? I knew it was suspicious. So that's the thing, Anomaly, like, like what I would really love to do is like just to do some VRC streams. I would love to do some VRC streams because I know a lot of the folks that frequent the stream and are uh, like, you know, and watch and stuff. I know a lot of them actually do VR chat. And I would love to do just like hangout streams and stuff like that. That would, uh, that would be super cool. This one's for you! Must have been a new breed. How do you figure? Because they went for the stronger prey. Uh, yep, yep. Hazarino tweeted about it as well. Oh, I get it. Okay. Uh, at best, it's a follow bot. Okay. Yeah, because I remember that there was like there were some folks who were talking about um, a BBC Twitch UK like uh, um, like a Twitter account or something like that that was following people and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know if it's related or if it's as if it's like the same thing. And also, that, that that brings up another good point, too. I would like to just kind of take a moment to to mention how how important and how great the mods are. Let's just like let's just take a moment to like just appreciate like the folks that are like really looking out for, you know, that are really working as the extension of the streamer, because that's what a mod is here. You know, and just really doing their best to keep the the the, the stream uh, like there, running smooth check it out. The heart and, of the and nice, <laughs> and just making it so like all the viewers are just having a really good time. Because I mean, that's just that 
that is just too much for a streamer to actually do on their own. And like I'm 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 personally really lucky. I am really hacking lucky to have the mods that I do that have the experience that they do just looking out for the rest of us. And I just I really appreciate that. And I just want to mention that I really value that a lot. Appears to be related. It's linked to from that account's Twitch page. Interesting. But I'd have to find an avatar artist, okay. I'm actually thinking of trying to get an avatar customized for me, eventually. Not going to be fancy and have it built from the ground up, but take a pre-existing model and recolor it and maybe tweak it slightly. Okay. That's the thing. It's like, you know, lots of people do that and there is lots and lots of choice. Lots of stuff that you can use as a base. Like I like when I was doing my my limited experience with VRC, it's like I was uh I was poking around. Still a fair ways off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? No. Me, I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. That sounds great, Aerith. Let's go. <laughs> but heck, like, you know, when I was doing like a little bit of VRC, I stepped into a world that was literally just, it almost looked like miles and miles of different avatars you can choose, like all kinds of different like furry things and like, robots and like anime characters they were just anything you could think of that there was there and i was like wow this is nuts <laughs> no you ah boops finger <laughs> fingies and all the other mods that may be present yeah i did that with the sinobu v3 avatar before i could afford a custom one yep See, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't do that simply because, like, I don't know. I have a unique relationship with my persona. Or at least I think I have a unique relationship with my persona. Because, like, the thing is, like, my persona is literally me. I mean, like, this is, this is who I feel like I truly am. You know, like, and, and, the, and that the roles are reversed. When I'm, like, walking around, like, you know, in meat space, I feel like I'm, I'm flesh tubing, you know? <laughs> if that makes sense. And you can quote me on that. Definitely quote me on that. Get back. We can fight too, you know. I'll show you what I can do. Enough. Let's go. There we go. Okay. Do we have any boxes or anything that are around? There's a path up here, though. Where does this go? This is a dead end. Nope, there's a ladder. Hmm, where does this go? I don't like the looks of this. I think this is an arena. Interesting, okay. Or at least it looks like an arena. Interesting. Yeah, there's lots of avatars available, yeah. 
I already have the base chosen. It's a dragon model. I love dragons. You and me both. Anomaly, fun fact. Fun fact. My original persona, when I even, when I started, when I realized I was a furry, I was a scaly. Right off the bat, dragon. That was my original, um, that was my original persona. And I vibed with that for a long, long, long time. I'm still warming up to being a cat girl. I still refer my, to my Sona as her instead of me. Ah, I see. I mean, that's fair. That's valid. You know, I think, like, you know, if you talk to five different people who were furries, if you talk to five different people, they would, you would have five different relationships with their fursona. Everyone is unique, you know? And it's just like, it, I think they're just like kind of like extensions and, 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 and little offshoots of our psyche, right? Just how our brain works. I don't know. I just always find it, find it so interesting how people how people interact and how people uh, treat and think of their own persona and how how it fits into their the large the, the bigger picture, you know. Earth was one was more of a healer in the original, wasn't she? Yeah. I mean, I never I never utilized Aerith as an offensive character per se. I always had her kind of back row as a healer because she was especially great with that stuff. I would have her with uh, like offensive materia and things like that so I could use her for offense if I really needed to but primarily I used her for healing. And then it was, uh, it was Cloud and Tifa that I would use for offensive stuff. I kind of want to choose Dragon as a persona since I don't officially have a character yet, but I can't bring myself to feel worthy of the title of Dragon. They're awesome, brave, powerful, willful, and I am none of those things. Well, what about this? What about this? For several people, and also for me included, our persona represents all of the stuff that we want to be or that aspired to be. So why not you why not why not think of it like that? Like if you want to be, you know, awesome, brave, powerful, willful. If you want to be those things, there's nothing wrong with assuming that dragon persona mantle, so to speak. And having it represents the stuff that you that you want to be, that the, the stuff that you want to strive for, the stuff that you're working on for yourself. It wasn't until after I made a Sona that I started using feminine pronouns, so she's helped me figure out myself a bit already. Janie, same. Same. Uh, hi, Adi. Uh, might be a little tipsy. Hiya, Tyler. Welcome. I haven't seen you in a little bit. I hope you're well. And uh, drink a lot of water. It's n it's you need to hydrate. That's a pretty fun way to think of it. Okay. Uh, I mean, I I hope I helped out a little bit. Hmm. You got a point there. It's how I see my mothy. Aw, oh, cool. Right on. Thank you. You're welcome. Small and cute, but strong and very fluffy. <laughs> nice. I love your fursona. I love your fursona, Lucas. So with a uh, with with my fursona, she is just very short, <laughs> very short, um, sassy kind of fiery in a way, 
Uh, confident. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, abrasive at times. Very abrasive. But like, kind of a, exudes kind of a, a like like a, an aura of confidence and 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 being sure of herself that they're they're just all things that I really want to I really want to be in. and I I'm legit working toward. Ooh, boxes. Nice. And, you know, and she has helped me navigate some of the. Uh, some of the complexities of, like, you know, uh, my own gender identity and things like that. She's helped out a lot. And that's the thing. It's like, I am non-binary, um, which is technically under the umbrella of trans. My gender expression is pretty much solely uh, with my persona. And that's how, that's how I, I deal with... Uh, gender dysphoria and things like that which like it helps a lot with streaming um also uh hanging out with friends and spending time on second life helps out with that stuff too like if i have something that i can properly i guess assume that role for me then i don't really experience gender dysphoria as like with lots of trans people lots of trans folks do This door is locked. Okay, I gotta figure out, figure that out. Small and cute, but strong. Yep. It's been a long time in the making. Uh, gone through like four or so revisions. Yeah, and it's never gonna. I don't know that it's ever gonna be finished, Lucas. Because personas are always a work in progress, like mine is. Seriously, thank you for your viewpoint on that, Adi. It really helped. I hope so. I hope so. Like you, I started out as a dragon. Flammy, to be exact. Uh, the white dragon from Secret of Mana. I thought I recognized that name. Then a dragon naga. Then an eastern dragon. Then Rue dragon. Then moth dragon. And now lunar moth experiment. Cool! Ah, oh, Smitch150, welcome. I saw you, I think I think you followed last week. Oh, uh, welcome. I recognize the name. I wish this door wasn't locked, but it is what it is. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Nice butt, buddy. Ah, full body wiggles. I'm gonna give you a free, uh, a, a free ear wiggle also. There you go. Thank you, thank you so much for coming by, Smidge. Moth dragon sounds cute. It is cute. Not gonna lie, it's awesome. Lucas, Lucas's uh, Sona is amazing. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, door locked. Not yet time to see the dawn. Yo, that's for Okay, I get it. All right. Let's see what's going on. It's awake! Gonna wish it kept sleeping. Uh-oh. Go on! What's this? I'll do focus thrust one. Boom, I guess. Them's good wiggles. Oh, Heretic Soul, welcome. So nice to see you. a little dragon to me, i.e. the belly plates. Mm. <laughs> Cute. Howdy, okay, you... then. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch up with chat real quick. 
Ade, all of your streams always make me feel so relaxed. Honestly, watching your streams feels like coming home to a good friend. Thank you for being amazing, Anomaly. That means so heckin' much to hear. Thank you so much for that. Thank you so heckin' much for that. And thank you for always coming by, too. Like, I've seen so much of you lately, and honestly, I'm here for it. You're such a you're you're such a bright light, and like you know, I I hope to see I hope to see tons of you in the future too. Uh, I'm actually working working on a, a paper dragon puppet, and then make a dragon persona. That's heckin' cool! Right on, Smitch. I actually, still need to draw up an image of the lunar moth species I'm mostly based on. Lucas, I can't wait to see that. Because honestly, like I, I think your Sona is is pretty heckin' amazing and unique, and I want to see more. Moving on then. This is where I'm supposed to go? It looks like it. No boxes, but there's a ladder. That's weird. Okay, there's a gate. But then there's a ladder and a ladder. Oh, okay. I guess I'm gonna do a little bit of exploring then. I'm here for it. I can't go over there, I guess. Oh, a heretic soul? Heretic soul, I'm sorry. Did I... I think I might have forgotten to thank you for the follow. Holy heck, I just... I just saw my uh, my activity feed real quick. Heretic, thank you, thank you so much for following. By the way, ah, uh, Arctic Death Water, good bean. Holy ah, heck! Try moving that container to make a path. Let me, uh, let me give you a heckin' good shout out. This Arctic is amazing. There we go. Uh, it's all good. Been enjoying just chilling in chat. Right on. Okay, where am I supposed to go from here? Can't go there. No. Nope. Oh, okay. the trick oh i get it oh i get it okay i was on the right track before but i just needed to move that crate first i get it i'm a smarty There we go. Oop, pet pets. Oop, there we go. I get it. <laughs> get petted, nerd. <laughs> Oh, love your face, Arctic. Yeah, how am I supposed to open this?
All right, Aerith, I guess you're... Damn it. I need to take her with me. That means I need to go back. Awkward camera views. Yay! If you can keep if you can keep up, I got four paws after all. <laughs> I got the power of undeadness, Lucas. It just means I can boop you forever. <laughs> to try that first and then I go across I'm able to Maybe get there's a way to get over it for you at least okay okay I got this I'm I'm smart I swear S M O R T smart There we go. Okay. There we go. I needed one switch to activate the other switch so I can open this gate up from the other side when I press the crate. The oh, God. <laughs> oh, fuck. No need for thanks. I'd rather get paid. Hmm? Great. You're getting paid right now. Hmm? Huh? Oh. Um, oh, what is this a date? Is she is this the 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 the, the payback date that she was talking about? This game like looks, looks so good, right? Oh, I love it. Junkyard has to be one of the hardest things to model in 3D. Yeah, you're not kidding. Uh, Borderlands, Borderlands, I think it was Borderlands 2 or Borderlands, the original Borderlands, they did it, but they didn't really do it. They kind of just had globs of like things everywhere. But then they painted them all with a texture and then just like kind of laid different like game assets on top of them to make it look like a junkyard. But this, this is legit a junkyard. <laughs> Should be able to relax a little now. Don't forget about the Turks. Ah. Could come at us any time. Keep an eye out. What's this all about? What's this about? That's the station. I'm glad I moved here, but... 
somewhere else you'd rather be? Ah, oh, come on, Aerith. Just let me explore. This place takes I know it's not her to... fault. It's it's clearly Square Enix. Hmm? <sighs> Just wanna go to bed. So, do you think this means another war's coming? The Sector 5 slums are right there. God, I'm so nervous. Ah, oh, here we go. What are they watching? Uh, hey! That's fine, Aerith. Stop being weird. I'm just, I'm sitting down. I'm gonna take a rest -a Self care. Reactor five. They're working for Wu Tai, isn't it obvious? See, there's still a lot of Cowards. smoke rising Using from the rubble. Spies, so they don't have to break While the fallen ceasefire. beams and other debris I'm continue to hinder Those rescue efforts, the fires to start have been mostly extinguished. So if we help catch the bombers, we get a reward oh, over there. or something? Uh, that's the director of Shinra's Advanced Weaponry Division, hey, isn't it? Enough of that uh, doom excuse and me, ma'am, but would but you mind answering a few questions? Right? Uh, They're targeting reactors. Uh, can no you give us any updates on the status of the reactor? What kind of damage did it suffer in the explosion? Are we in any danger? Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Such a pleasant okay, lady. All right, if let's go. To, I'm prepared to fight yeah, again. that girl in front of me. Like <laughs> back and forth, back and forth. Oop, I'm getting pumpkined. There we go. I knew deep down Pumpkin! <laughs> Timing. Mind lending me a hand? Place is really hopping, huh? Nice side effect of the train situation. So, what do you say? I'd love to, but... Do I need to make yep, it is pumpkin time. It's fun. Nah, just show up. The folks there will take care of you. Aerith! Well, well. What are you doing all the way up there? Was trying to get a look at the reactor. Oh, so Who's this guy? Proof. You're not. This wrong. is Cloud. <laughs> He's a mercenary, and currently my bodyguard. That's Oats. See you. Two peas in a pod. I love how pumpkin mode really emphasizes the tail to body uh. ratio. You're you right. Uh, when Sky was drawing this, like I, I, when I commissioned it, I was like, "Hey, Sky, uh, can I? So can we figure out a way to make my to? tail like we really all to see huge?" The reactor. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, guess we have a new destination. 
I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aerith, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. Why, hello, Aerith. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard. Just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? <laughs> Maybe. Long tails are fun, indeed. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. Here's the leaf house. I'm studying so I can read a ton of books. Oh, that's cute. There you are. We're back, and we brought Aerith with us. Sorry to make you come out here. Don't be. It's on my way home. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. No problem. How many? All you can carry. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. Hey, mister, do you want one of these? As tall as the sky. <laughs> This is cute. Like the, the the Moogle and all the stuff on the wall. I, I really I really dig it. That's such a that's such a cute vibe. I love it. Biggs gave me a bunch of his favorites, and I'm gonna read them all. Aw, uh, Anomaly, thank you so much for the hundred biddies. Thank you so much. If you learn your ABCs, you can. If you ever need any medicine, let me know. I'll whip something up. Ooh, there's a jukebox in there. That's interesting. Hey, my house is this way. Oh, come on. Let me explore. Ugh. So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. I don't recall. <laughs> I don't recall. That's a lie. What? Thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, anyway. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. In the original FF7, Moogles didn't have pom poms. Crazy how they had a model and program there you go. all those That's pigeons. My house. Yeah, right? It's amazing. <laughs> Cloud is such a stick in the mud. He he kind of is, but the thing is though, so is Aerith. Aerith is a little bit too. She won't let me explore. It's like, oh my house is this way. It's like, no, let me let me go into this building and figure out. What I'm that home. jukebox and hey, stuff? Baby. You know? Let me look. Been up to no good. Rude came by. So, this is my mom, Elmira, and this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her. That's my job. Or was my job. Yep. Thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector Seven? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. Then why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. <laughs> I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the Leaf House. Since we have a little time before dinner. 
You should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way? Do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. And Cloud wants a date. He wants a date. <laughs> that Aerith. She's a handful, isn't she? She's amazing, though. I like Aerith. I like Aerith in this game. Aerith won't be long. It must be tough. No, never mind. Glad we had this discussion. <laughs> Ear wiggles. I don't even know why I end up having two different redeems. One for ear wiggles and one for full body wiggles when I just give the opposite one away for free every time someone redeems one. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Maybe I just enjoy doing it. Yeah, that's it. That is a tiny fridge. But that oven is cool as hell. Feels like it's from the 50s, right? Old stone oven, those things make amazing breads, right? Maybe you should make a Wiggles only, right? Yeah, just yeah, just like consolidate them and just be like Wiggles. Be like a hundred a hundred butt coins. Wiggles. break showed off this area recently. Okay. 8% butts. Oh no, I was 99% earlier. I saw I lost so much butt. <laughs> oh, butt deficits. <laughs> yeah, the butt economy has really taken a turn for the worst, right? I got, I gotta figure out something to do, something to do with the uh, the bot, and like like fun little things to do in the stream. Like if you get like eighty nine percent butts, like a unicorn dances across the stream the the screen or something like that. I gotta figure that out. I really want to expand the butts bot to like basically be just like this insane huh. thing. You take this one. Take it. I love the lens flare effect when you leave a building, right? Yeah, right. I was just about to, I was just thinking go. that too. This game is really well done. 
And these right here are my babies. Uh, the pizza maker, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Enjoy your stay. Kick up your feet. Have a good time. You know, enjoy the vibes. We're really chill. 89%? Don't you mean 69%? I don't know if I'd use a unicorn for that particular, that particular number. Maybe the whole screen would fill up with a giant flashing nice. <laughs> the, that command isn't wrong. M quite pear-shaped. What? Nuts. Nuts. God, this place is beautiful. Oh, holy butts. Which ones do you think we should pick? Any of them. Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. Choose pot flowers to deliver to the leaf house. No. Press Y when you are close to a garden to pick flowers. The decorations at the leaf house change depending on the colors you select. Interesting. Okay. Try, mister. You can't fool me. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? Do this one. Why not? Whoa, foxtails, huh? I gotta hand it to you. I never would have thought of that. It'll definitely take them by surprise. She yeah. said, as yeah, many as you can a, carry, a so maybe bit a few more? To him. <laughs> Nothing wrong with hips. Material gwarl. <laughs> yeah, we'll do this one. Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? Yeah, let's go. Not to mention a good bit of cake. There is nothing wrong with cake. Everybody likes cake. No need to hurry not under the gun or anything i'm not cut out for this crap sure you are <laughs> and when you're done you'll be drowning in job offers yeah all of a sudden lighting changes oh yeah look at this look at the lighting in here look at this 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 is my jam right here I love that. Like, I could literally just set up, like, a little chair in the corner and look at this all day. That is so cozy. So, how do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. A great job no wonder this game take took like such a long time to come out 
Isn't this good? No wonder. What emote is that, Smitch? What is that? Oh, a Zavage Boops. Oh, I get it. Okay. I'll wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? There we go. Okay, now I can check out the jukebox. Midgar wouldn't be Midgar without the plate in the reactors. Everyone's good at heart, but sometimes you can get hit. Oh, there's a chest in here. That's interesting. A vial of Solaris. I wonder what that is. That's Fanfare remix, okay. Yeah, okay. I get it. Oh no, he's heading for the jukebox. <laughs> All right, folks. So I think it's actually just about time that I wrapped it, things up. But after it happened, um, I do have to get some sleep tonight. Contrary to like me basically sleeping all day, I do have to sleep all night too. So uh, let me uh, let me see who we have on to raid here. Long ago, when the Sector Six plate fell, everybody thought it was the end. The plate fell out of the sky. Let's see who we got. Who we got? Who we got? Somebody who is playing something that's kind of similar to what we're playing. To kind of keep up the vibe. But after it happened, the town became a very dangerous place. I know. You're talking about Wall Market, aren't you? Now listen to me. You stay away from there, all right? Ooh, yeah. Wow, I'm hungry too. Yikes. Uh... Long ago, when the Sector Six plate fell, everybody thought it was the end. I think I have an idea, actually. So, what do you, what do y'all think about triangle strategy? So, so somebody who like I appreciate very, very much, who just. There's a great, not only a great streamer, uh, but like their, their message, their message is actually really, really heckin' cool. Uh, Loki's Observatory. Are y'all, I don't know how many y'all are, uh, are familiar with Loki. But they're playing triangle strategy right now. And the big thing with Loki is they, uh, they, they do talk a lot about mental health. And after it happened, just, you know, good, good vibes and, like, appreciating one another and really a really heckin' good soul, you know? And I, I honestly, I, I, don't, I don't pop by that stream as often as I should. And I think that, I, I think that you know, whoever in chat isn't familiar with Loki would definitely, definitely enjoy. Uh, so yeah, uh, Loki is playing uh, triangle strategy. It was kind of like his. Uh, it seems a lot like uh, uh, like how Final Fantasy used to be, like pre Final Fantasy VII, like turn based, that sort of thing. And I think yeah, I think y'all would really enjoy it. And also, I mean, Loki in general is a really good bean and really chill vibes. So, I mean, if you like how things are around here, you'll definitely like Loki, too. Long ago when the Sector Six plate fell, everybody it's thought uh, it was Final Fantasy mixed game. with Fire Emblem. Yep, you're not wrong. Just that one. So I think that's what we should do. Loki has been streaming for a while, eight hours, but I'm going to take a chance. But after it happened, the 
the town became a very dangerous place. <laughs> M head empty, no thoughts. <laughs> Bocage, you're a sweetheart. I, I love you to pieces. Alrighty, there we go. So heck. Heck, thank you, thank you all so much for coming by tonight. Uh, this was really great, you know. And I, 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 I just have a, I have a really deep love and appreciation for for Final Fantasy VII remake. Really, just made it a whole lot better, and I didn't think that was possible. Um, and everybody just, you know, thank you so much for coming. You know, this was great. You know, I appreciate y'all so very much. And like, you know, there's some of the stuff we talked about are just like really near and dear to my heart. And, you know, y'all, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that, you know, y'all can share like the stuff that you share with me. And then I can share stuff with you. And it was, it's just been really good. So uh, the next time I'm going to be live is tomorrow, tomorrow night, 6 p.m. PST. Um, we're going to pick up in Final Fantasy XIV where we left off, which is right after we finished Endwalker. We've got the patch content to get started on and stuff. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty heavy in story, and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be great. So hope to see you all then. Um, but as for me, I'm gonna get some food. I need some foods, and I need to get in the bed. So hopefully, I will see you all tomorrow. But until then, be safe. Um, take care and uh, have a great night, okay? Everybody thought it was the have end. a good one. The plate fell out of the sky? Just that once, and it'll never happen again.